Saturday. So let's make sure everybody knows that uh, whatever you're going to be doing for us, we're going to be looking for you. Bring your family and your kids out there this weekend. We're going to have a good time, even if it just turns out to be a Independence Realty uh, picnic. I've got a lot of agents have called me saying that their clients have been calling them saying, hey, what's this going on right here? They have received some of our um, our invitations. Yeah. All right? right on. So y'all make sure y'all touch bases with um, with us before you leave tonight. Some of you guys want to see again uh, for another week or two. Yeah. But make sure you guys are available this weekend. If I'm out there sweating out there in the park this weekend, I don't see you. Let me tell you something. <laughs> That's why I'm just gonna get it, get y'all on camera right here. Make sure I got everybody's face. You know what I'm saying? We need setup, cleanup crews, everybody else out there this weekend. Take one of these, pass it on. Act like you'd be out of town going to. I mean, um, before we get, we know we got an exam tonight. For those of us who um, cared enough to come in uh, and watch the tape, we had a very nice little 20 minute, 30 minute tape on um, eight steps to buying a home. We started at six. Have you got an extra five minutes? Well, you guys still didn't come in on time, so we can't help you. <laughs> um, and um, so <coughs> one thing I want to cover tonight is that I'm just going to hit a little bit on. Yes. In business, you have to have only what what is, what is the what is the one thing I said it before that you have to do. And you have to have to be successful in any kind of business. business plan. A business plan. Okay, what kind of business you're doing in life, you gotta have a business plan to be successful. Mm -hmm. Of course, you guys, those of you who read the book, The Entrepreneurial Myth, teaches you that. They gather the statistics of all the businesses that have failed in this country, around the world, who have incorporated themselves, and they ask them, what do you think? No, no, they didn't ask them, what do you think? They asked them, did you have a business plan? And the majority of the businesses who failed in this country said no. We did not have a business plan. We're just somebody who was, you know, watched a good movie and saw somebody who was doing business and said, you know what, I can do business. They was good at shooting dice when they were young and their friends said, man, you're a good businessman. You know, whatever it is, you know what I mean? You're in a hair salon, you know, you can do a good twist. And they you know, girl, you, girl, you ought to open your own business. You know what I mean? Or you bake a couple of good cookies for some drunk friends of yours and they say, I have a hat in the world. So that individual takes that compliment, you know, or that movie they saw and say, hey, you know, I believe you guys. Since you say I should be uh, a business owner, then that's what it is. But the majority of businesses, if you're going to get in business, to be successful, you must have a business plan. Henceforth, my little saying right here what you guys seen a thousand times before we read it together all the way now. One, two, three. Yeah. I know, yeah. I know yeah. this is from Kennedy, but anyway. <laughs> if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. Do you have a business plan? For real estate. I like to see it. Do you have one? I have half of one. Yes or no? No. No. That's not the Not yet. You knew. Can I see it? Okay. You sure can? tomorrow morning with you. No. <laughs> Hot Jennifer, no business plan? No. Out there selling and listing houses? And <laughs> taking folks to closing with the biggest transaction of their life? You know what I'm saying? She don't have a business plan? No. Mr. Eric Simmons, yeah. the veteran of the house, yeah. running the Pentecostal all day long over here, seven days a week, no business plan? Patricia <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jones, come on now. I got a business dream. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, he would join that e myth list. <laughs> Ms. Davis, NRHA, Chesapeake Bureau, <laughs> in control, new listing, $300,000 house. I just sell somebody's damn house. You ain't got a business. <laughs> wow, Mr. Walker. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Lady in the corner over there. Okay, see, but here we all are. Here we all are with a real estate license. We want to get in the business. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want to be a businessman. You know what I'm saying? I got a business card. I got a business card. I got a real estate license. I'm a license. What do you want in your card? I want a realtor, a professional real estate, a licensed professional real estate agent. I want a consultant. Here we are all out here with real estate license, 
by the state of Virginia signing a consent to sue, which means open ourselves up to be sued if we correct, if we conduct incorrect business. Now we are out here practicing incorrect business. <laughs> and we got no business license you know what I'm or no business plan. You know, might well be a business. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like back in the day, I'm a business man. B U D D I D D N E S. Business man. You know what I'm saying? Because that's basically what you got out here a bunch of business men who got a real estate license and they ain't serious about it. So, for those of you who are now, and I have always tried to get you guys on the cusp, on the cutting edge of at least beginning a basic, basic, basic kindergarten <laughs> business plan. What is my, what, what have I asked you all for to just get you in the, just in the, in the B of business plan? <laughs> or what? Stay your contract. Coco. Oh, I got a lot of money. Coco. 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 That I've tried to get you all to do <laughs> to. I asked the question already. What's the damn answer? Business plan. Huh? You said to, to do the business plan? Yeah, what is my variation of one? Come into the office and. Oh, a schedule. A schedule. A schedule. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Damn! <laughs> She like, oh, 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 oh. she been, she been hollering, screaming all the last two days. Also, she the best student in the house. Oh, sir, I think it's a schedule. And she got here on time. Yeah, and oh. come late. And she come here late. Give my money back. Oh. How many times have I asked y'all to just give me a schedule of the days that you're gonna come in? And that's your beginning of a business plan. And all you have to do is do what? Stick to it just like you have to stick to a business plan. You see, so for the young entrepreneur who is just now getting into business with the business license, you got to sit down like you gave me a schedule last week. You ain't honored it. Maybe one day. And when you came in, you didn't do two good solid hours. You know? And I was like, where well, Mr. Mills at? Where well, Mr. Mills at? Y'all ain't, was he in there? I ain't, I ain't seen him. Cause see, he military. He military, you know, he comfortable. Cause they military, they get paid on the 1st and the 15th. But I left the military in 1987 as an E6 because I knew that half of that money that I'm gonna get at retirement is gonna be nothing. Right? But see, military folks, you know, they, they comfortable. Because, I mean, who, who, hey, I ain't seen a guaranteed check in, since 86. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> on the 1st and the 15th, hey, never. My clothes, they be scattered all over. They go, just go, your clothes on now. We got delay over there. We got, you know what I mean? <laughs> Let a military person get, say, oh, no paycheck this Friday, y'all, on the 1st. <laughs> you would have to, you know, all the ships start sinking. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So they don't know. They don't know. You know what I mean? When they get close to getting kicked out of the military or whatever, or into their, their 20 years, then they start saying, well, then they realize they got to do another job. They're like, damn, 20 years in the military ain't nothing. I got buddies retiring E5s. I mean, I give away what they, they monthly checks. I mean, I be like, man, I be, they, what they, they monthly income from 20 years in the Navy as an E5, I be. <laughs> that shit be falling out my pocket. See what I'm saying? It's 2006. That's it. You know what I'm saying? It's 2006. That money ain't like it was yeah. when you thought back in '88 when you signed up. A business plan. One of the things is some of you guys came in cold calling last week, and 
Y'all know I don't know nothing, right? <laughs> Y'all know that. Raise your hand if you know I don't know nothing. Jennifer, go ahead up first, please. <laughs> come on, Jennifer. <laughs> and she don't even want to come to train no more because it's repetitive. <laughs> and, but she know I don't know nothing, don't you? Raise your hand. I'm not. Y'all know I don't know nothing. <laughs> I don't know but one thing. It's cold, calm, and prospecting. That's prospecting. That's all I can. I don't know nothing else. Not for this business. We ain't running a landscaping business. We ain't doing hair up in here. We ain't fixing cars in here. You know what I'm saying? We still in real estate. You see what I'm saying? So, a business plan. A business plan is a, for you guys to start, just to, because I can't get y'all to read nothing. I can't get you to go to the library. I can't get you to go to school. I can't get you to listen. I can't get you to do nothing. I can't do it. I try. I'm here, if it's just one person tonight, if it had been just me and you, we would have been jamming in here tonight doing something. That's what I'm here for. I don't care. One person can come in here on Thursday night. If I'm here, I'm going to give everything I got. That's all I do. You see what I'm saying? But a business plan is what I want on your brain tonight. When you come in last week, you know, my veterans over here, Jennifer. Jennifer got the end game and the middle game down. She has closed some of the most difficult transactions dealt with juggling roofers and inspections and janky sellers who start calling her back and other agents giving her a hard time and she closing these deals, y'all. Taking them to close and getting her paycheck. Right? You don't see it, but come out of the anyway. <laughs> I'm in Richmond this weekend. What's up? You know what I'm so she got the end game and the middle game. The middle game is she can work with the people. Buyers and sellers alike. She can listen, she can sell. She ain't got she don't she don't even want to come train her no more. You know what I mean? That's how big her head is. But one thing I gotta get her, and that's the beginning of the game. Right, we started here. We started at the beginning of the game, and the beginning of the game is what? Call, call the prospecting. Mm -hmm. Okay, to unless you got a bunch of clients with good credit who are loyal to you that you know that are ready to go, uh, then you got to find some of those kind of people. You're not from the area, I know, whatever. So you got the beginning game, the middle game, and the end game, and I will write on that piece. But Jennifer is a monster on the middle and the end game. Right? Richie's had some tough transactions. She's closed. You know what I mean? Selby, Miss Mills. They all got the middle and the end game. Mm -hmm. If I can get them to get, go back to the basics. Add the beginning of the game with what you've already learned how to do. They have tasted the blood. Right? They, have, they tasted the blood. Jennifer tasted the blood. Ms. Mills had a $12,000 a month last month. No, no, the month before last, okay? June is gone, okay? <laughs> this August now. I can't keep saying Ms. Mills made $12,000 last month. <laughs> it will be 2009. You know, well, that equal out to be $800 a month. There ain't no money. You know what I'm saying? So you need to uh, figure out a way to get back to June. You know what I mean? I can't keep saying you made $12,000 last month. That's over now. You see what I'm saying? It's August. You see what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you I keep saying it. We can't spend that, those checks but one time. All right? So y'all get away from that, you know, that June, you keep getting further away from June, the smaller you're going. You know. she, June, she like this. You know what I mean? January 106, 07, she'd be like, hey, little ball, you know what I'm saying? Can I hold something? Can I hold something? Can I hold something? So some of y'all came in last week. So the only thing I'm saying that is this. Get yourself a couple of days a week. We have got to get ourselves on this cold calling night. We, there's no other way to get, um, I mean, you got to get some, Jennifer called the other night, so I got a great client tonight. Her and I, we're doing this, she's just breaking down, I'm going, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Every, and I tell, every time she cold calls, she gets something. And I tell the agent, I said, every time you get on the phone and do two hours, see, you got to do two hours. You got to come in here in the evening 
which is the best time to call. Because when I came in, they made us do what was called Days of Pain. They made us come in the office. This is, this is a sweat hall, sweat hall, sweat hall, sweat hall course. And they made us come in the office at 9 a.m. Come into the office, sit at your desk, open the book, and call until you get an appointment. If it takes you 15 minutes to get an appointment, you can get up and leave for <coughs> the day. If it takes you eight hours to get one, you sit right there until you get one. Those were called days of pain. And when we got done with that, we had numerous sales and listening. We could not believe it. And then the guy said, let me let y'all on a little secret. I kind of did y'all wrong. I had y'all coming in at 9 a.m. in the morning, cold calling. Ain't nobody home at 9 o'clock in the morning for no answer no damn cold calling. But you see what you did anyway. The best time to call is in the evenings when most, when most folks are home. We were like, oh man, we can't believe that. But 9 a.m., we were on the phone. Cold calling, getting listing and sales blew us away. But he said, so now days of pain are over, come in the office in the evenings. So, two hours for cold calling. If you come in one night a week, or Saturday for two hours, or one day a week, and cold call, do two hours. Don't do an hour and 20 minutes. Don't do an hour and 55 minutes. Do two hours. Because you can get on the phone for the first hour, like Jennifer got that client at 45 minutes in, a good contact, they really, I mean a good one she says, she's excited about it. Because she got the end, she, she know the middle and the end game. So when she's talking to these folks, she know that she can smell them. She said, I'm going to take their ass to the middle and the end. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I've been there. You know what I mean? I can break it down for them. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to take them to the middle and the end game because what? I've been there. So now I can tell them about it. And it's okay. And she got the possibility of taking them to the middle and the end game because of what? Beginning. She played the first part of the game. What you got to do. Having all the skills in the world, being able to read the contract word for word, backwards, blindfolded in Japanese, ain't going to do you no good if you ain't got what? A client. No clients willing to buy a house. Mm -hmm. So you got to go back to the beginning. Most agents out here spend more time over here and they stumble through this over here and still getting paid. Because once you get them over here, once you get somebody ready to go, they don't know a whole lot about agents or anything else. So you want to, I'd rather spend more time right here. I could be in a wheelchair in this office and make 10, 15, 20 times the amount of money than all y'all put together in a wheelchair and have all y'all selling my clients for me. Because I come in here and do nothing but cold call. And I line them up, Jennifer, there's three for you. There's three for you. There's, you know what my cut is. You know what my cut is. You know what my cut is. You know what I'm saying? I'll be like, here we your contact. Here we your leads. Here we your leads. I'll be here every day, cold calling, five or six hours a day. I have 10, 15 contacts per day. Easy. You know what I'm saying? Because I'll be on the phone with my, my, my game will be, oh my goodness. Can you imagine? Everybody you talk to will be shaking their boots with you. Oh, can we call you? No, we scared of you. Because you'll be so on it. Everything they say, you'll be like, well, let me just explain something to you. This is what I can do for you. You see what I mean? After you talk to people for a while. So, the beginning of the game is the most important part of the game. Y'all gonna be good with writing contracts, especially y'all gonna train you with them. I'm tired of seeing some of y'all asking him. You know what I mean? I want you out there selling some real estate. Miss she like I come train like I'm writing a contract. Cool, peace. Have a nice day. See what I'm saying? So coming in here, getting all this, this is good stuff in there. You ain't getting nowhere else. You better frame this, okay? You better frame this right here. Just whatever you get in here on Thursday night, put it in the frame. But you ain't gonna get it nowhere else, cause they're afraid of you. I ain't afraid of my. I'm, I would train my competition. Most folks don't want to teach you the real deal because they want you, you competition. My broker, they're like, trains, you tell Jerry nothing. We out of here at 3.30, he better get in his ass in, get on that damn telephone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he from Cleveland. You know what I'm saying? Colored boy. That's what they used to call him, colored boy. <laughs> See? Y'all got it nice. So y'all got another color talking to y'all. He'll be, how y'all, baby? How y'all doing? How's your hair? <laughs> y'all got it easy now. You know what I mean? So, 
A business plan. Can we all say it together? Business, business plan. plan. Business plan. Business plan. Come on, CJ. Business plan. Get one. And we're going to be doing real, real, real simple ones. A real simple business plan that's just saying, okay, man, I'm serious about this. I'm going to come in here two days a week. The days go, you tell, go home and tell your family, y'all gather around. <laughs> Kids, get down here. Mama got biscuits to make. On Tuesday and Saturday for two hours, Mama going to be in the office. Do you hear me? Two hours. Mama going to do that. Every week for two days. That's four hours. You look fast as I give you all the rest of my time. <laughs> but this time, this is my rifle. There are many like it, but this one is mine. You know what I'm saying? Let them know. Are they going to support you or what? Because when, when that money start rolling in, they be like, Ma, what are you doing at home? <laughs> Why are you home today? Isn't my new t-shirt? They still working. I need a new coat. Get back into the office. Get your ass on that phone. Ma. You see what I'm saying? So a business plan. You know, you got you in the business. So you gotta work this business that you're gonna work in. And you can be successful as a part-time real estate agent. This is how you do it. You understand? You can be a successful part-time real estate agent. That's what I was. I was in the United States Navy, an HT, on sea duty. Alright? So I had to work when the ship was where? In Norfolk. <laughs> I couldn't work while the ship was in Israel. You see what I'm saying? I had to work on I was trying to get some sleep out there. But I didn't read though. I was I had a contract with me. I was reading. All other guys had the magazines. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I had a contract. What you read, boy? Man, but go. This girl make it. Ain't nothing written on this. You know what I'm saying? So I was reading. You know what? I'm getting the hell out of the Navy. I'm getting the hell out of the Navy. I'm getting out. Bullshit. It's 3 30 in the morning. Jerry, the toilets are plugged. <laughs> Sheely, the toilets are plugged. Get up. Bam. On my rack. Bam. Man, I just lay it down. Get your black ass out. <laughs> I'm gonna tell Chief on your hands. You know what I'm saying? And what you gotta do? We gotta get up. Put the uniform on dirty. Jeans be like, you got to stand them up. And you be like, you got to. <laughs> get in your pants like this, that be so dirty. Put the belt on. Look for the shirt, you know what I mean? What shirt is that? Grime is dirty, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> Going, in, I'm in, it's four o'clock in the morning, I'm in the bathrooms. All of them just filled with doo doo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going, we, 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 we hooking up hoses, trying to flush them down, everything. I said, they won't call my chief coming in. He like, you old candy asses. He reaching that toilet with a bare hand. Oh. <laughs> I'll be like, damn! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He had like one teeth in his mouth on a little metal thing. And he'd be going around, he'd be like, you candy ass! Serious. 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 I was a heart attack, that's what I did. And then I'm in there, you know. You know what I mean? Guys know what a sound in his mouth. <laughs> Y'all think I'm playing. Mr. Mills, you know the deal. Johnson? Tell them, the Navy don't care. You work 24 hours a day. You got a towel right there. So I said, I'm coming out of the Navy. Not because of the uh, toilets. Yeah. <laughs> I find the toilets, I'm, I'm to be quite fond of toilets. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but the thing is, it's a lot of work. And I was like, you know what, man? <laughs> Get in the Norfolk, white shirt and tie every night. Seven days a week until till like night. Right in that seat over there in that corner over there. Cold calling. I had to go. See, y'all supposed to be going on appointments every week. Every week you should have an appointment. That's what you do. You are a real estate agent. Your job is to go into homes and discuss buying and selling with people. 
apartment complex. Every week you should be going on an appointment. That's how you polish your game up. You know what I mean? Y'all ain't going on no appointments. How do you get an appointment? You make cold calls to the people who are interested. Take the pressure off because all you want to do is do what? Get your foot in the door. Get over there. You know what I mean? Just say, you know, all I'm offering is a free consultation. You know what I mean? Just so that way next year, when you're ready to buy, you'll, you'll, if I help you now, you'll call me that next year. Next year, you're going to wait that long? Yeah, it's like, you know, that, well, we're going to have some credit clean up. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll come straight and do it. Get into some houses. You've got to get into some houses. You've got to go out. You are a public servant. You took a real estate test. You got a license. It does not say that you're going to make any money in the office. You've got to get on the street. All right? So, but in order to get on the street, which is the middle <laughs> and the end game, you got to come in here and get on the telephone and find somewhere to go. Because if you don't do that, and then where the business is now, a lot of agents, licenses, will not be active 1 2007. This year is almost over. It's August. The year is gone. What did you do in 2006? Nothing of significance. Nothing of significance. Another year of your life, just, you know, whatever. Pretty soon you're going to be feeling good, and you're going to be feeling like yourself, but you're going to be 70 years old. Tell myself, oh, shit, I felt like running. <laughs> you know, let me check my water. I was born in 1960. It's 2040. And I felt, I felt good there for a minute. I was going to run out and give me a beer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you know, time going, you're going to be old in a minute, and you're going to have what you got now. Your youth. Your energy. You know, this is, this is time to do it right now, because you keep letting these years pass you by. And not doing this. Some of you guys coming in here on, um, you got a job, you've been on a career, and now here you are trying to start something new and you want to do that well, but you're going to spend five, six years doing that wrong. Right? So, the simplest way, if I was in the back of a crack house <laughs> in New York City talking to a bunch of dope addicts, I would say the first thing we come on, go gather around. <laughs> first thing we got to do. If we're going to take care of some business, and get a business plan. That's what I would tell them. You know what I'm saying? You got to plan on something. So, get a schedule. Write it down. That's why I tell you, give me a schedule. I say, well, don't write nothing down that you can. I'm going to look for you. Don't have me looking for you. Whether I'm here or not, I'm still looking for you. Add to them. They'll tell you. They don't come in. They be like, oh, I'm going to miss you. I'm Eric. Who in there? Amy yeah. called me canceled this week, so did. I was here yesterday. But what Monday? Did I'm you call did you call in Monday that you even coming in? No, what day was that? Tuesday. That's what I said. But <laughs> <laughs> well, she came in yesterday and cold called to give her an applause. I guess she wanna clap, give her a clap. You know what I'm saying? But see the thing is, I'm telling y'all, if you don't plan, if you fail, if you do not, if you do not write down on paper. What you're going to do next week with your real estate business and you don't do it, then that means you are planning to fail. This is, a, this is business one-on-one -on -one in this world we live in. So you so, want us to send it to you or give it to you? Sure, anyway. Okay. Mail it to bring on my house. What do you want to do? <laughs> Amy, come on in. Hurry up. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so whatever you have, you want to get to me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm telling y'all, just say to yourself, get you a plan for the month of August. You only got four or five more months. They were saying jingle bell, jingle bell in a minute. It's almost time for Christmas. And most agents stop doing business when? September and October start getting ready for what? Halloween and Thanksgiving. Well, the market's been slow. The market been slow all year. <laughs> you know what I mean? And for, for some, it's real damn slow. So what's going to happen around Christmas time? You know what I mean? When everybody, the normal time to be off. I'm going to be in Jamaica chilling. All inclusive. Come on, bring me more. <laughs> bring me more. God's song, bring me more. <laughs> and who the hell in 
something? You know what I'm saying? And where will I be in February? Because I, I will not be celebrating Black History. Does anybody know? <laughs> Why am I not going to be celebrating Black History Month? Why am I not going to be celebrating Black History Month? Who knows? Why am I not celebrating Black History Month? No, wrong answer. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not an angry black man. I'm a very angry black man. Get it right. I'm not seeing an angry black man. Who knows why I do not celebrate Black History Month? Because Deanna? you make history. You because what? Because I am black history. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. Oh. See, that, it ain't no better than that. But you're an angry black man. I'm not an angry black man. I'm a very angry black man. Very angry. Right, but I don't celebrate black history because I am black history. Let's, you know, y'all should become black history. You should. Especially y'all who got kids. Listen, y'all. The one thing I'm trying to say tonight is real, real simple. Take this with you right here. And if you do, you have got to, I don't care, you're in the Navy. If you part time care what you do one day a week, if you have to, you know, one day a week, come into this office and sit down, cut your cell phone off, and just go through what it, you got to go through to make phone calls for two hours. Call them apartment complexes or whatever. Mm -hmm. Two hours. That's called prospecting, cold calling. You know what I mean? Unless, but unless you got enough clients to work with already, then don't come in. But you, got, if you're gonna do this business, and you don't want to be one of the statistics, you got to have a business plan. You cannot be successful in business without a business plan. I'm telling you, you can't do it. Well, I have a question. Yes. Because most of the time, I can't get here until like maybe five thirty. Yeah. That's all I want to stay two hours. I Absolutely. Absolutely. Hmm. You want a key to the ten? And vacuum on your way out. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care. I bet you when you start lining up them clients, you be coming in the morning, you be, hey, good morning, machine. <laughs> Damn, Amy, what you doing in the month? Man, I had 50 grand I made last month. I'm gonna hook you up. <laughs> you know, this day, I got a cold call in this spot in the morning. <laughs> that's, a good luck, that's a good luck spot right there, shoe. You know what I'm saying? She be in here painting and shit. Hey, what you doing? Oh, I just wanna pick it up a little bit. <laughs> you know what I mean? This wall be green, that one be blue. Hey, what you doing? So believe me, when you get that thing going. I mean, you would have, I would have thought that this one right here would be walking on the roof at night time. Come on, let's make sure nobody caught in the building. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Twelve grand in one month, seven grand maybe the month before? You ain't walking around on the building? What? <laughs> let's all give her a, a round of applause for being a knucklehead. <laughs> All we gotta say, Evelyn, all we gotta say, Evelyn, where you at? Come on, y'all, one, two, three. Evelyn, where you at? You're the leader right now. You're the leader right now. You can't put that kind of money in your pocket and walk around without, and we know we're gonna tell on you. Right? A business plan, y'all. It's all it takes. A business plan and follow through with it. Make it as easy on yourself as possible. One day a week, set aside my last story, brother over in Hampton, back in, when I was in this company, C21, we had our little banquets every quarter, and we would, all the C21 would get together at Granite Fairs, and by, by office, do the numbers. You know, top sale, agent, yada, yada, yada. So, you know, I was doing my thing. But this brother over there, I was making about 30 grand a quarter, do the math. <laughs> that when I was broke, right? Thirty grand is thirty thousand dollars every three months, which is about ten thousand dollars a month. Kids for the old, for the old mathematically challenged. And I thought I was hot. I thought I had stopped cold calling, but I kept four or five girls on the phone every night at six thousand an hour. I look at it, somebody got to call baby. Somebody got to stay on that phone. I'm out there partying. Somebody got to make them cold. Every morning I come in, I got a five or ten buyer pre-call sheets from last night. You see what I'm saying? So, 
Larry Thompson was GSA. No, no, they were C21. It was Larry Thompson. They all on the peninsula. Larry Thompson, Gene Eifert, and um, the other guy. One of them is, uh, teaches the Long and Foster course now. Um, whatever the name is. They were the top three agents. For five for the five years I was in the C21 system. Everybody get called up. The last three names every time for five years consecutively every quarter was those three. And Larry Townsend was making about 90 grand a quarter. Mm. What? Over in Hampton, mm. when the average sale price of a house was about $60,000. Mm. One day I said, I had to go put him over. I said, Larry, bruh, <laughs> what are you doing mm -hmm. over here in Hampton in the peninsula making 90 grand every three months, man, and the average sale price is $65,000? <laughs> I only, I only know, I only know where Hampton at. <laughs>